guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be very fun. And I know that I am not an interior design, beauty guru, this is a fitness channel, but this is very exciting for me because this is the first place that Greg and I have ever rented together. We didn't bring any furniture. We've been designing the whole place ourselves and really kind of piecing things together. So I'm getting really into it. With that said, our furniture has not arrived yet. So this is a pretty empty-ish townhouse tour and I will give you guys a furnished townhome tour as well. I just thought this would be fun to do. With that said, we do not have any furniture in the house right now. All we have is a bed and a mattress, thank goodness. Uh, so I will show you guys that. And we do have some outdoor pieces. So I'm gonna go around and show you. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's get started. So this is our front porch as of right now. This is pretty much the only table we have. We got this set from a ski shop that turns into a patio shop during the summer. So we got it on sale, which was awesome. It's this really nice wood finish. And I personally love these rainbow seats. Don't know about you guys. We have Greg's skateboard over there. Head inside. Hi, Henny. So when you first walk in, this is what you see. This is our living room. Now, the one thing that we don't love about this place is that it's pretty much entirely carpeted, which you know, is quite difficult to take care of and things and match with, but it's okay because Lulu loves it. She is constantly comfy. Isn't that right? So here is our empty living room. As you can see, we kind of have these two little wall dividers, which I really like. Instead of an actual wall, you can see throughout the entire place. And I just think it's a really cute spot for decorations. We have an awesome gas fireplace. If any of you have any like cool ideas or decorating tips and tricks, please let me know because it definitely doesn't come to me naturally. I'm just like really into it. Like I really admire people that are good at interior design. It doesn't come to me naturally, but I'd love to be able to have a really nice place. I really need to figure out how I want to decorate these two big white spaces. Um, right now I just have these two vases, both of these are from CB2. CB2 is basically Crate and Barrel's like trendier, more affordable store. And they have one in Denver, which is the one we went to. I really love these. These sunflowers are almost on their way out. They need to go. And on this one, I just have my favorite photo of me, Greg and Lulu in Long Island, my favorite place. And then one thing that we really wanted to do with this place is have a lot of green. So Greg picked out these two trees. I wish I knew the name of these. They're really cool. Um, they're from Brazil. That's all I know. And they have to stay moist. Gotta stay moist. Okay, the only other thing I have is these two pillows, which will be going on our couch that arrives on Friday. The couch is a brown leather. And honestly, it's our favorite piece that we got. Um, and it's gonna go right here against this wall with these pillows. Um, and I think these pillows will look really cute. One theme I kind of wanted to go with with this place was a Southwestern vibe. I don't know if that makes sense, kind of like an Aztec Southwestern vibe. I really wanted to fit the area we're in, you know, like kind of like mountain vibes, but also very colorful because our house is very colorful. And as you can notice, super light in here at all times. Like there's tons of windows, tons of natural light, which is so important for me because it just like makes my mood better. Over here I have this adorable basket. Well, I think it's adorable which has become Lulu's toy box. I got this from CB2. You could put anything in here, like blankets, whatever. But Lulu's toys are in here for right now. She loves it. <laughs> She's looking like a bit of a splodge right now because she just went on a long walk with Daddy. Okay, let's move on. Wi-Fi. One of the big pieces we got was an entryway piece with shelving and it's kind of like a cupboard style. And that will either go here or there and hopefully it will hide like the wi-fi and some shoes and things like that so now we walk through here and this is our dining room love it so right now the only thing we have in the dining room is queen lulu's bed but we will have a dining table here um, I can't wait to show you guys. I really can't wait to see how this furniture is gonna look in this space. We got a dining room table for right here. 
it's a rectangular shape and it has kind of a raw wooden look on the top and then it has metal legs and we got some light gray leather seating to go with it so that'll be really nice and then if we face it this way we have a lot of shelving which i think is so cool i've been having a lot of fun like decorating the shelves Here's what we have so far. I think I showed you guys on my Instagram story, but this piece I am so obsessed with. It's like different rocks shaped into mountains with the sun and this little air plant. So if you wanna check out that piece and other pieces, the website is wallsthatrock.com, wallsthatrock.com. I saw him first at the Boulder Art Show on Pearl Street and I basically followed him to another art show in Evergreen and um, I just think his pieces are gorgeous. He has ones that size, which is a bit smaller, and then he has really big ones. And uh, I just think it's an awesome representation of the area. One of my favorite things I own. Then on this shelf, these are Gregory's books. As you can see, we have an F That's Delicious book, a Gucci Mane book, and a bodybuilding book. So <laughs> those are all the books we have. This is my little succulent I got from the container is from West Elm. The succulent actually is also from West Elm. And then I just got cactus soil from the local garden center. I got this wine rack on Amazon, very affordable. We don't drink a lot, but we do like red wine. So I got this local Colorado red wine. Love local wines, love trying local wines. And then for right now on this shelf, we just have some technology and stuff because we don't have a ton of like bookcases or anything yet so that's where that lives and this shelf as of right now we have these bowls which are so beautiful we actually got them at whole foods from the like artisan handmade section these coasters which we'll hopefully use when we have a table from cb2 and then i just got this weird little thing from west elm and i almost forgot my plant I don't know what kind he is, but I think he's so cute. I got this hanging basket from the local garden center and he just fit perfectly in it. I don't know what he is, but I just know he can't have direct sunlight and he needs a lot of water. Moving on, we have a little bit of storage right here. When we look over here, we have two closets. This one is full of scary adult stuff that I will not touch. Here is where we keep our grocery bags. We've really been trying to not use like disposable bags, so we take those everywhere. This closet is a disaster right now. We have our vacuum, which is very important. It's a shock cordless vacuum, which has been great. We have my gym bag, Greg's bag, and then all of that is recycling because our recycling dumpster is very full right now and nothing fits, so it's all in the closet. Time to move on to the kitchen. The first thing I noticed, which I'm gonna show you, is this. It's a coffee maker that I got for Greg. I got it from Crate and Barrel. It was like really affordable. All you do is put a filter in here and then I think you just put coffee grinds and hot water, but I don't really know. We haven't used it yet and I don't drink coffee. But this is the name of it. These are the filters you buy. Regardless of if he's gonna use it or not, I just think it's really gorgeous. So there we go. So as you can see, we have this bar and we will have two bar stools here. We got some white bar stools, which will be awesome because we do find ourselves doing work on here a lot. Moving on, we have Lulu's station and a pantry where I keep Lulu's food container. And then we just have like, you know, paper towels, trash can stuff. We don't eat a lot of uh, pantry food. You know, a lot of our stuff's perishable, so we don't really know what to do with that pantry. Here we have our trash. We need to get a recycling bin still. Dishwasher, sink, food disposer, drying rack from Amazon. I think Greg got the cutting boards from a chef store. This is my Yeti tumbler, whoa. My Yeti tumbler that I have been using all the time because if you take it to a coffee shop here, they'll just fill it with tea or whatever you order. This is Greg's big knife set. He really wanted, so, oh my gosh. He really wanted some nice knives, so I think he got these from Sur La Table as well. They're like Japanese cutting knives. A salt container from CB2. The kitchen was definitely like Greg's zone. He loves cooking and he loves kitchen stuff, so he kind of like picked everything out in here. 
and I picked out most of the rest of the house. This adorable Colorado dish towel with the heart on Colorado is from my friend Dakota. Thank you, Dakota, I love it. We have our pans. A lot of them are hanging up there. I don't wanna bore you guys, but I'll give you a quick look in the cupboards. Here is all Greg's spices. We definitely need a spice rack for these. More of those bowls I love. The rest of them are in the dishwasher, but these are so cute. They were made in Portugal, um, but I got them from CB2. These little plates are CB2. These big plates are CB2. And then we have a bunch of shaker bottles for the gym. I am going to do another video with a fridge tour, but not right now. Right here we have our laundry, which is interesting. I've never had laundry in the kitchen before, but I did it last night. It was quite convenient. Lulu. You ready for the upstairs? Say hi. Say I love you, Mari subscribers. This is where we keep our keys for right now and Lulu's accessories, her beautiful pink accessories. Time to go upstairs. I'm so out of breath. I really wanna put something nice here, either from Etsy or like Urban or something. Comment below if you have ideas. So first things first, let's make a left. Oh, wait. Awesome storage right here, probably for like winter coats or something. So, this will be the guest bedroom slash office. We'll have a day bed right there. So far, Greg has a desk chair in here. We're gonna get a nice big desk for right here. We have our printer in here. Sweet little aloe plant. There is our shoes and it has a quite big, nice closet which is a complete mess because we don't have any uh, chest of drawers or anything like that yet, so a lot of our clothes are just shoved in closets right now. So yeah, this room is nice and light, but I also feel like it's a great workspace, which will be really nice for editing and things. If you didn't know, Greg and I both work from home, so it was really important for us to have a two bedroom so that that other bedroom could become an office space. Okay, right here we have the guest bathroom, which has kind of become Greg's bathroom. Um, as you can see, hello. We still need to get him a shower curtain and everything. He's been showering in the other bathroom. So yeah, that's not much to say about that. And then in here, we have our bedroom. Ta-da! I seriously love this room so much, guys. It's seriously so light. There's the mountains. Our bed. So this bedroom has literally become my favorite room of the house. Not just because it has furniture in it, but it's just so light and beautiful. And we have an amazing bed set up, which has really changed things for us. When we first got here for the first like two or three nights, we were on an air mattress and we were waking up tired, our backs hurt. And now we have this awesome mattress and our sleep has been incredible. Our workouts have been incredible because of it. We've just been feeling amazing and sleeping so well. The bed frame is from West Elm. It is a king size Logan industrial platform bed. And the mattress is what has really freaking changed the game for us. This mattress is by LOL. It is memory foam. It's amazing, super high quality, but also super affordable. This mattress has seriously changed the game for us. You guys know that I don't work with other companies very often. I don't often promote products that are not my own. However, this product is seriously worth talking about. We have had the best night's sleep for the past week. It has really changed things for us and made us feel amazing in a new place. The mattress arrived on our doorstep in a box and all we had to do was bring it upstairs, lay it out on this platform and wait for it to inflate, which didn't take long at all. So easy and convenient. For Greg and I, health and fitness is so important to us. Our routine is so important to us. So having a good night's sleep is essential. This mattress is amazing. Lol offers free shipping, free returns. I would highly, highly recommend trying out LOL mattress. Lulu also freaking loves it. <sighs> and then this is one of my favorite parts of the whole house. I have these really cute little bulbs from Amazon. And as you can see over there, the mountain, this cute little terrace. We still need to get some chairs and a little table. Oh, and this blanket on here, the blue one, we got from Ecuador, actually. Uh, Ecuador is one of our favorite trips ever, so we got this from Artevalo Market. This blanket is like an organic cotton quilt from Crate and & Barrel, and the sheet set is an organic sheet set from West Elm. Moving on to my bathroom slash the main bathroom. 
I got this shower curtain from Target, including the liner. Here's all my stuff. You guys, you guys don't want to see that. All the towels are also from Target, and the bath mat, and the trash, all from Target. Yes. And I have this nice full length mirror, which is currently my selfie mirror, because I need a proper selfie mirror. Alright guys, that is it for my empty townhouse tour. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Comment below if you'd like to see the townhouse when we have all our furniture. I'm really excited, kind of nervous to see if everything will fit the place. <laughs> I don't know. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Comment below if you have any tips for me, any websites to check out for decor. I'm always looking. Thank you so much for watching guys. I love you and I will see you in the next video.